we felt like in the first half we, we created plenty of, of chances, um, you know, to, to go ahead in the game. And uh, credit to Holy Names. I mean, they were organized, you know, packed it in defensively and uh, made it difficult to penetrate. And, and, you know, Keeper made a couple of key saves that uh, they were able to keep the shutout going into halftime. So, um, you know, one of the things we talked with the team at halftime about was just to stay on task and, uh, you know, statistically really couldn't ask for much more other than uh, putting the ball in the back of the net. So, um, you know, we felt like second half we were able to kind of find that, you know, find our finishing touch, so to speak. And, uh, you know, most of all, just stay, um, you know, stay focused on what we were doing and, and, you know, believe that eventually it would come, which, uh, you know, again, fortunately, it, you know, the goals did come. Uh, we felt like, again, you know, those chances were going to come and um, it's just a matter of having that composure in front of the goal. And it was great to see, uh, you know, the cross from the outside and, and Hannah, you know, get to it first before the keeper and, and tuck in the, ultimately what was the game winning goal. And, um, you know, we've been waiting for, for uh, Jenna Thomason to, to get on our, you know, score sheet, which it was great for her to kind of open her scoring account, you know, in this game. And, um, and then also, you know, Rochelle Schiller, who got her uh, second goal of the, of the season. So i um, really proud of the girls for, you know, not just being uh, on task through the full 90 minutes, because this is the first game that we feel like we're able to play a complete 90 minutes um, as far as our uh, approach and what we want to do, you know, our game plan and execute it. So, um, you know, and I think that with that concentration and, and staying on task, um, you know, as the end result, you know, in terms of the three goals and, and in addition to the shutout, you know, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it takes a lot to, for our team to, to just post the shutout as well. And well, I feel like first Hannah, like, gave us the hype for it, so I think we had more momentum. And then I thought, I saw, like, a clear channel, so I ran onto it. It went right to my feet, and I just trapped and saw, like, a placement of the corner, and I just slotted it. I feel like talking a lot more helped. And now we kind of have like a new system going on, so we feed off each other more, like the two people up top. So as long as we're like close and like playing well together, then it like we do better. You know, I mean, they're working hard, and and one of the things we talked about is just uh, not making major mistakes. You know, if we can minimize our mistakes in the back, and um, you know, not get gift any goals, uh, it's going to help our team tremendously. And we've been able to do that for two games in a row. Um, and uh, you know, we feel if we can go out and and um, make those, you know, we're always going to make mistakes, but minimize those mistakes and, uh, and you know, just make sure we're organized and communicate that, uh, that we feel like we can post more shutouts as we go through the season. So, you know, credit to Summer Hammond for the last couple games and, uh, you know, for Vanessa Escobar just uh, kind of being our closer tonight, so to speak, and, uh, you know, Caressa Archie, Amanda Huddick, and, and Brooke Bingham, you know, just uh, solid in the back. And so, um, it's encouraging and you know I know we were able to post many shutouts last year with the, the team that we had and you know our goalkeeper Sarah King but we feel like the girls are doing the, the right things now and uh, we just have to keep that at a consistent level and if we do then you know we feel like we can be successful.